So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to uh, map a surface water availability using Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to map the surface water availability, we have to first create our region of interest or our study area. So to create our region of interest, I have defined a variable called region equals to double e dot geometry dot rectangle. So we are defining our coordinates. This is the Latin uh, latitude and longitude of our, uh, of our study area. And to add this layer into Earth Engine, I have defined map dot add layer region. The region here refers to our variable region that is our the coordinates, our study area. And this, the curly bracket here refers to the default visualization parameter. So the color will be in the default value and output as a region. Now to center our uh, layer, uh, in Earth Engine, I have defined map dot center object region refers to our study region refers to this variable and ten refers to the zoom level. So to next is we're going to load our load the global surface water data set into Earth Engine. So the data set is a global surface water data set is available from 1984 to 2003. So to load this. Uh, Global surface water data set to the Earth Engine have defined a variable called variable water. Double e dot image JRC global surface water and uh, global surface water. So this specific code will uh, import our global surface the uh, surface water data set into Earth Engine. So before that, let me show you my study region. So now you can able to see that this is our study region. So go to the option called run script, click run script. So now we can able to see that this is our study area that is occurring in, in Ethiopia. So this is the Ethiopia and this is the bus study area. So that is close to Lake Tana. So in this using this data set, we're going to see our surface water availability, the surface water availability from 1984 to 2015. So this is a large set of data for global surface water uh, to check our global surface water availability. And also we can also we can also check the changes of the changes in the surface water, surface water in the period from 1984 to 2015. So as uh, this is the code. To import our global water, uh, global surface water data set into Earth Engine, that is variable water double e dot image and the uh, JRC GC, uh, GSW1 global surface water. So next is so next is we're going to define the water occurrence. So water occurrence shows the summary of where and how often the surface water has occurred over time. That is. We can able to change. We can able to see the changes of uh, water occurrence over the period over the period of time. So, in from this data set, we are we going to uh, select a particular variable that is a uh, water occurrence. So, we're going to define the variable called water occurrence to check the where and how often the surface water has occurred over the period of time. So, variable uh, we define a variable called water occurrence equals to water dot select occurrence and map dot add layer. So water occurrence refers to over this variable and palettes we are defining our color palettes that is a color we are defined as a blue color and output as our output as the global water body so to now add this layer we're going to define uh, to add our water occurrence layer to earth engine we're going to define map dot add layer water occurrence and palettes that is defining a blue color for our water occurrence layer and output as a global water body. Now let's run this. Go to the option called run. Click run script. So now you can able to see that technically what it shows us is that the water occurrence from the period of from period from uh, that is from 1984 to 2015. 
So the water occurrence from uh, from the period from 1984 to 2015. So it shows the uh, entire uh, water occurrence for entire globe. So now we can able to view that this is a water occurrence for entire globe from 1984 to 2015. So it is basically a global uh, global data, the surface water availability for entire globe. So you can also check in several places. Now let me show you that. So this is one of the area called Tanjavur. You can able to see that there are several uh, water availability. So this is a pa Pala River. So you can able to see your entire surface water availability from the period from the timelines from uh, 1984 to 2015. So it is the last set of data that is available for us. So let me go back to my study area. So this data was what it tells us. It's, uh, it, it gives us the presence of water uh, of entire globe. So that is very useful for our analysis, for various analysis. So it is very useful for many water resources applications. So plus this data is available for entire time series from 1984 to 2015. Around 31 years of our data set has been available in this uh, surface water data set. So we can also get a more information from the from this data set like the frequency of an occurrence of water in this area so you can also check for whether it is a water source of perennial that is available for entire year or it is only in the only during a certain part of the season so you can also check for the surface water availability in different seasons suppose in certain season the occurrence of water might be of a dry and uh, compared to other seasons you can also check the seasonal availability of the surface water using this uh, surface water data set, the global surface water data set. So next step of our analysis is to uh, to print a map that. So we will map the water occurrence uh, using a, a frequency of water occurrence that is uh, we represent zero as uh, no water availability and we represent as 100 as a uh, uh, water availability. So 100 represents the, the water available for entire years. That is, uh, there is no changes in that uh, change. The water will be available for entire year. And 0 represents the, the non-availability, the no availability of water. That is, we can uh, represent that. The water availability, 100 represents the water av availability for entire uh, 1984 to 2015. And 0 indicates there might be a change in the water availability in the periodic time from 1984 to 2015. So in order to find those changes, we can uh, mark 100 as 100 represents the water that is available for almost uh, from 1984 to 2015. The zero represents the, the change or the changes where the water is not occurring uh, will be indicated in uh, the minimum value of zero, minimum zero and maximum indicates the water availability. Minimum indicates no water availability for the period from 1984 to 2015. So the high frequency here represents the high water availability and the low frequency zero, that is minimum zero, represents the no low water availability, no water availability. So we can also find the difference that there is water that is uh, available for uh, there's no uh, water will be available for entire uh, 1984 to 2015 and also the pay region areas where the no water is not available from uh, 1984 to 2015 or the, we can uh, map the changes change in the water occurrence or change in the water occurrence from the period from, from the period from 1984 to 2015 so we have we have also defined the color palettes that is the palettes red yellow green so here red, yellow, green. Now here the green indicates highest uh, water uh, water availability for entire set from 1984 to 2015. And red indicates the non-availability of water. 
the green indicates the highest water availability and the red indicates the lowest water availability water availability and yellow it's a moderate water availability so to add this layer we have defined a map dot add layer water occurrence so we're referring to this variable water occurrence is selecting only the water occurrence and uh, dot update mask water occurrence so we are picking only the water occurrence and uh, which visualization uh, parameter that is this water so we have defined the variable called this water with a minimum zero maximum 100 and the color palette of we define the red yellow and green and uh, output the layer as water occurrence changes from 1984 to 2050 so we're going to visualize uh, the water occurrence change water occurrence changes for the period of 1984 to 2015 so it is almost 31 years of data set available so let me run this code go to the option called run script click run script So now we can able to see that we have three different layers. The first layer that is our water occurrence changes from a period from 1984 to 2015. So let me turn this off layer. Uh, this is our global water occurrence layer. So what we have is we have our water occurrence map that is showing us. So by giving a different color palettes that is I've, I've given here, the different color palette, red, yellow, and green, the red uh, red represents the no availability of water and green represents green represents the uh, highest availability of water and yellow is the moderate availability of water so now you can see that this is the lake tana let me show you that so this is lake tana that is in in uh, ethiopia so you can see that the green indicates the highest water availability for entire period from 2000 that is from 1984 to 2015 and red indicates the non availability of water there is a non availability of water the red might be indicating that it is might be a seasonally uh, it gets filled up but uh, there is a the 100 percent available there is a water availability is available in this uh, green indicates the 100 percent water availability and red indicates the no water availability during the rainy season this red area gets filled up by uh, due to the flooding from this lake and as a result in during summer seasons this red area it get dried up and only the the this portion of the green portion of this area always always the water is available now let me show you that go to the satellite uh, image let me zoom to this layer so now you can able to clearly view that the green is so that is a, indicates the water availability for entire period from 1984 to 2015. The red indicates the non availability of water or gets seasonally filled by uh, water. Uh, let me uh, show you that so you can see that this is a lake Tana and this is uh, the certain areas near closer to this lake area that is dried during my uh, dried in the summer times or get filled in during the rainfall seasonal rainfalls. And uh, during rainfall season, the war flooded, uh, the lake flood gets flooded and uh, may filled in this area. It shows the water availability. Um, but we can uh, clearly view that this portion of this area that is in green color indicates the water that has been available for almost 31 years from 1984 to 2000. So these red portions get dried up or get seasonally filled by rainfalls, rainfall activities. So this particular data is very useful to check for the changes in the water availability uh, over a period of time. So we have a huge set of data set that is available for almost for 31 years from 1984 to 2015. So you can also check in other places. Let me show you that. So you can see that this is another lake which is marked in uh, a red color which indicate that the water is not available for many uh, period of time, many period of time. So there is a blue and uh, there is a reddish indicates the not uh, water is not available in this region and the yellow indicates the moderate availability of uh, yellow indicates the moderate availability of water 
over the period of time so you can also see in this uh, in this area there's only a small portion of the area that has water availability and other areas being dried up so the greeny area has a little water has water availability and other part of this area has been dried up and the and this data is not only available for uh, this lake dana it is available for entire globe so you can check for the changes in the water uh, availability the changes in the water availability for entire globe so you can able to see that you can check for the water availability for entire globe for the period of 1984 to 2015 so in this video i have shown you how to uh, create a region of interest how to load the global surface water into earth engine and how to change how to uh, make an analysis of water recurrence for entire uh, you can check for entire globe so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like